Cindy Berkland here with cindyberkland.com and I just want to leave you with some some really good news. Um, we can we have two options right now going into this new year. We can choose faith or we can choose fear. It's easy to choose fear based on what we see in the news and there's a lot of stuff going on but I'm going to tell you something. Anytime we choose faith over fear, good things happen and I'm going to say this, God isn't going to let you down. I have choices every day to choose faith over fear. I know that God says, I'm going to give you two answers. My answers are, you pray for what you want, you're going to get it. The answer is yes. Or he might say to me, wait, I have something better. And I'm going to say this, God doesn't love me more than he loves you. He loves us all the same. And if you've been praying for something, know that his answers are yes or wait, I have something better. So fear doesn't get to step into the equation when we have faith. Get a hold of us at cindyberkland.com if this conversation interests you. Cindy Berkland here with cindyberkland.com. And I just want to leave you with some, some really good news. Um, we, can, we have two options right now going into this new year. We can choose faith or we can choose fear. It's easy to choose fear based on what we see in the news. And there's a lot of stuff going on, but I'm going to tell you something. Anytime we choose faith over fear good things happen. And I'm going to say this, God isn't going to let you down. I have choices every day to choose faith over fear. I know that God says, I'm going to give you two answers. My answers are, you pray for what you want, you're going to get it. The answer is yes. Or he might say to me, wait, I have something better. And I'm going to say this, God doesn't love me more than he loves you. He loves us all the same. And if you've been praying for something, know that his answers are yes or wait, I have something better. So fear doesn't get to step into the equation when we have faith. Get a hold of us at cindyberkland.com if this conversation interests you. Cindy Berkland here with cindyberkland.com. Welcome back to our Naked Money series. And right now we are covering goals. And I have some things that I was thinking about that I know for sure are going to help you with your goal setting this year. Um, I talked earlier about picking one goal that would make you really excited if you were to accomplish that this year. But two things that is really going to help you with that goal, that if it's the one thing that would make your life truly different, and that is to have faith for that goal. And number two, have intention for that goal. So let's talk about the difference between faith versus intention. Faith is having the belief the absolute belief, knowing it's a knowing that what you've been believing for is going to happen. That is what faith is. It is the substance of what you're hoping for. Now, intention is setting an intention, believing you're going to do something, believing that something is going to happen. When I have intention for something, you know, when I set my intention for the day, like, Hey, I'm going to go and I'm going to go grocery shopping today. I'm going to go out and make a difference in the life of another. I'm going to go, you know, I've got to run to Lowe's. I've got errands. That's my intention for today. And I don't need faith if I know I'm going to, my, that is my intention. I know I'm going to do it. Faith is so important when things don't always look the way that we want them to. I'm going to share a little story with you um, when it comes to faith. Um, I have, you know, when I pray for things, you know, God always answers my prayers, but he doesn't always answer me in the way that I think he should. And I always use the analogy, you know, when I need a life raft and God sends me a yellow life raft, sometimes I want purple and I may reject a yellow life raft because I think that the life raft coming my way should be purple, purple, but God doesn't work like that. Um, his ways are higher than my ways. He has, he knows what's best for me. And sometimes I think that things need to look a certain way. And so when they come along and it's the blessing is here and I'm here to be bailed out or God is answering my prayer, sometimes because I, I have my glasses, my rose colored glasses on, or the way I think it should look, I miss the blessing. And what I'm telling you guys is that when you pray for something, no, God's going to answer you. But don't always have a super attachment on how it's going to look. Sometimes he, it looks a lot different than the way that we thought it would. How many people that I talk to that are married to someone and they're like, oh, my God, I never would have thought I would have married an Italian guy. I was always thinking I would marry this kind of guy. And then I married an Italian. 
Who knew? Well, it's because God knew. And we think it's going to be one way, but it's another. So when I bring that up about faith or intention, we might have an intention for it to look a certain way, but there may be another way. So I hope this has um, helped you today. If you would like some coaching on this kind of thing or some support with your finances, please get a hold of us at cindyberkland.com and let's have a conversation. Cindy Berkland here. Just wanted to say thank you for watching the channel. And if you want more content, just need you to click right here. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, clicking right here. If any of these conversations have interested you, please get a hold of us at cindyberkland.com or you can reach me at cindyberkland at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching.